Scott, 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 sorry, um, you sound like a Dalek. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF things to happen in British Parliament. Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most insane and strange things to happen within Parliament by the UK MPs. Which MP is best known for being the most bizarre in the House of Commons? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Digging for Gold Well, we kick off with the grossest. You're welcome. In 2019, MPs were in the Commons for a emergency Brexit debate, but Conservative politician Ian Duncan Smith seemingly forgot to grab a bite to eat, so he did it there and then instead. Only it was really grim. Duncan Smith didn't realise anyone was watching, which is weird considering the room was filled with people, plus he didn't consider the camera might pick him out. So, with all the privacy of simply closing your eyes and imagining no one is around, Duncan Smith dug around his nose, found something, and stuck it in his mouth. Sometimes MPs really are the best of us. This is a serious, serious issue and has massive repercussions. Number 9. Touring Parliament With all the recent scandal of MPs somehow being allowed to have second jobs, in 2004, Tory MP Jonathan Saeed decided to earn some extra pocket money. Only he used his primary job as a means to do so, which is a big no-no. He was found to have been paid up to £500 per day to host tours around the Palace of Westminster. After the discovery in 2005, he was suspended from the House of Commons for two weeks and had the Conservative whip removed for a month. Saeed did these tours through the English Manor, a company he helped set up. He claimed the allegations were false and the investigating committee made a few errors of fact. Number 8. Musical Tie there's nothing worse than giving a speech and hearing music from someone's device. It's distracting and a little bit disrespectful. So when that happened to Tory MP Nadim Zahawi in 2011, during an education funding debate, everyone looked around for the offending device. However, it was actually coming from Zahawi's tie. Oop, I apologise. He was wearing this tie for a campaign by the charity, beating bowel cancer. The tune even caused the deputy speaker at the time, Dawn Primarolo, to advise Zahawi on being more selective on the ties he wears in the Commons. Perhaps next time the gentleman will be more selective in the ties that he wears. <laughs> Zahawi soon apologised to the House for his musical attire. I've taken on board and I apologise to you. Number 7. Porkies Back in 2015, the UK was in the midst of mocking then Prime Minister David Cameron for the amusing Piggate scandal. This is when the biography Call Me Dave claimed Cameron did some gross things to a pig's head during his days at Oxford University. Anyway, during Prime Minister's questions, Labour MP Kevin Brennan referenced the book to Cameron. Everyone in the room held their breaths. Instead, Brennan spoke about the book's co-author Lord Ashcroft and his tax status. He then pointed out Cameron's defence of Ashcroft as being inaccurate, adding that clearly someone is telling porkies. Clearly someone's telling porkies. As laughter rang out across the commons, Cameron quickly moved on from the joke, which is probably for the best. I would think of many better uses of his time than reading that book. <laughs> Number 6. Sing Song in 2017, the UK was preparing for Brexit, and MPs were in the Commons for a vote triggering Article 50, giving the government power to begin EU exit proceedings. The politicians for the Scottish National Party weren't very keen on Brexit. In fact, they all voted against triggering Article 50. The SNP members then began whistling Ode to Joy, a song composed by Beethoven in 1823 and adopted as a European tune in the 1970s. <laughs> Then Deputy Speaker Lindsay Hoyle quickly called for order and told them singing wasn't allowed in the chamber, otherwise other songs might be sung. I personally don't mind singing but I certainly can't allow it in the chamber because before we know it we could hear other tunes and I don't want to get into that. Number 5. Zoom 
As we've learnt in the past couple of years, video conferencing software like Zoom can be great, but it can also be a massive problem. And that's certainly been the case for some MPs. There was Tory MP Scott Mann, who had a glitch while speaking that made him sound like a Dalek. Or when SNP MP John Nicholson had his cat disturb a committee meeting by waving its tail on the screen. <laughs> then there was Conservative Jonathan Gullis. During a mostly virtual debate in the Commons, he was due to speak on screen. However, Deputy Speaker Eleanor Lang decided not to let him due to his informal attire. The Honourable Gentleman has to be dressed as if he were here. He quickly changed and was allowed to participate. Number 4. Dr. Watt this incident took the internet by storm with how weird it was. During a debate on International Men's Day in 2021, Tory MP Nick Fletcher went on a tirade about how casting is being forced by a tiny yet vocal minority with women actors taking traditional men parts in film and TV. There seems to be a call from a tiny yet very vocal minority that every male character or good role model must have a female replacement. He referenced Doctor Who, Ghostbusters and so on as evidence for his opinion. Fletcher claimed this only left criminal characters for men, such as the Cray Twins and Tommy Shelby. In recent years, we have seen Doctor Who, Ghostbusters, Luke Skywalker, The Equalizer, all replaced by women. He then somehow tried to relate these changes to why more men are committing crimes. After being slated, Fletcher claimed his views had been misconstrued, and he was merely pointing out the lack of good fictional male role models. These programmes make crime look cool. Trust me, a lifetime in prison is not cool. Number 3. Lounge Lizard At the same time as Ian Duncan Smith digging his nose for plunder, the Tories had another member acting bizarrely in the Commons with Jacob Rees-Mogg. We can only assume Rees-Mogg was staying up past his bedtime since he decided to lounge on the seats in clear view of everyone as they discussed Brexit. The Green Party's Carolyn Lucas called out his rude and disrespectful behaviour, whilst various MPs demanded that Rees-Mogg sits up. He responded by shaking his head and adjusting his glasses. And he has been lecturing us about democracy. Arthur we will have... Not a great look for the leader of the House of Commons. Number 2. Lil Mogg Rhys Mogg has a habit of being a bit weird in the Commons. Looking to get onto the bandwagon of England's progression in the Euros 2020 and 2021, Rhys Mogg recited poetry. But not just any old poetry, but the lyrics to the John Barnes rap in the 1990s song World in Motion by New Order. You've got to hold and give, but do it at the right time. We soon got back to normal proceedings when Rhys Mogg referenced poet John Dryden. This isn't the only time he alluded to a song in the Commons. For they can conquer who believe they can. To celebrate the BBC's U-turn on Land of Hope and Glory and Rule Britannia lyrics being banned at Last Night of the Proms in 2020, Rhys Mogg played a part of Rule Britannia through his mobile phone before quoting the song. I wonder... Number 1. The Legend of Dennis Skinner Dennis Skinner is a legendary figure in the House of Commons. Often speaking his mind, Skinner has been removed from the Commons numerous times. In 1984, Skinner referred to fellow Labour MP David Owen as a pompous sod. He was asked to withdraw the word by the Speaker, so Skinner stated he would withdraw pompous. Not quite what they were after. So Skinner was removed from Parliament. In 2005, Skinner took a shot at George Osborne by referencing his drug allegations and was removed as a result. The only thing that was growing then were the lines of coke in front of boy George and the rest of the party. In 2016, Skinner called then MP David Cameron Dodgy Dave when talking about Cameron's taxes, and was removed when he refused to withdraw his comments and instead reiterated them. I still refer to him as Dodgy Dave. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.